Okay, what's actually happening here is that you have got one load, which is called P, which has a weight of 200 G newtons. Um, that is supported by some sort of cable, and hanging be beneath P on another cable, you have got another load, which is called Q, and Q has a weight of 120 G newtons. And connecting the two, there is this cable. So there's a tension acting upwards on Q. There's a tension pulling downwards on P. And there is also tension up here. I'll call that, I'll call that I don't know, T1. Let's, well, let's call these two T1. And this one is just T. Now, the, by far the easiest way to solve this question is just consider P and Q to be one big lump with a weight of 320 G newtons. The question then becomes much simpler. First of all, when you've got the thing resting in equilibrium, that means that T must equal 320 G. And if we work that out, 320 G comes out as 3,136, or to three significant figures. Remember, we mustn't be too accurate. G isn't accurate. 3,140 newtons. If, however, the two are accelerating upwards at 0.4 meters per second per second. That changes slightly, and we're going to be using Newton's second law in an upward direction. Um, acting upwards, then we've got T. Acting against T, we've got the 320 G weight, and that will equal the mass, well, that's 320 times the acceleration, which is 0.4. So T just becomes moving the 320 G, 320 G, which we already know, plus 320 times 0.4. And if we work that out, it comes out as 3,264 or 3,260 newtons.